Turning poverty into fashion, killing coyotes for hoods, and making deals with discount retailers. Have these brands taken luxury too far? There is nothing that exudes luxury and sophistication like a well-structured trench coat. Such outerwear can prove to the world in a split second that you're someone worth paying attention to. And hardly any other designer is so synonymous with that look than Burberry. The luxury label has a preppy country club vibe to it that has taken an aesthetic approach intertwined with tweed and checked paneling. And while the label has significant recognition, it might be worth investing your money elsewhere. As noted by Jing Daily, Burberry has undergone a massive restructuring effort in recent years, as its revenue has taken a huge hit. The CEO of the company attributed falling sales to the COVID-19 pandemic and shifts in customer habits. But the luxury brand really took a nosedive when it had to rely on sales to make ends meet. As it turns out, putting items on sale translates to catastrophe in the luxury clothing world, and customers who may have once splurged at Burberry started taking their business elsewhere. The ongoing pandemic made things even harder for the label, resulting in some pretty dried up numbers. When it comes to luxury clothing, few brands are as well-known as Chanel. Has she forgotten? I know. I will not. The titular name is as close to synonymous with fashion as anything these days. And the brand's styles have been graced by some of the biggest names in history. Marilyn Monroe was once famously asked what she slept in. Her answer? So I said Chanel number five. This designer label and its infamy is unrivaled in many respects, but is it worth the money these days? The answer is an unequivocal no. As noted by Reuters, Chanel hiked up the prices of their most sought-after items in recent years. The decision came as retail success plummeted due to the COVID-19 pandemic. Even further still, more information has come to light about Coco Chanel's connections to the Nazis, with Forbes reporting that she had an agent number and a Nazi code name. If you care about your morals and your wallet, you may want to give Chanel a pass. Who can think about Dolce & Gabbana without envisioning that iconic scene from The Devil Wears Prada? Okay, can you please spell Gabbana? Hello? While they are recognizable monikers in the fashion world, designers Domenico Dolce and Stefano Gabbana have made it clear that their work is more art than it is wearable pieces. The price tag of these designs reflecting that mentality. Dolce once asked the Washington Post as he addressed a dress with a $60,000 price tag. Do you ask the cost of a Michelangelo? You don't ask the price. Beauty has no price. And while you'd have to sell a kidney to even afford such a design from the luxury brand, you may not want to in the first place. As noted by an Injustice magazine, Dolce & Gabbana has been the subject of much ire within the fashion community and beyond, as comments from the designers have been labeled as sexist, fatphobic, anti-Semitic, and more. Gabbana himself commented on a photo of Selena Gomez in 2018, expressing his opinion that the songstress was ugly. Singer Elton John even called for a boycott of the brand after Dolce made horrific comments about IVF, saying, I am not convinced by those I call children of chemicals, synthetic children, rented uterus semen chosen from a catalog. So if you are going to drop thousands on a luxury item, you might want to look elsewhere. Oh, Balenciaga. The luxury label has been known for pushing the limits, with the chunkiest of chunky sneakers becoming quite the trend a while back. And while the designer label has certainly carved out a space all its own, you might want to think twice about dropping thousands of dollars on their newest footwear. As noted by CNN, Balenciaga dropped a new line of sneakers in May of 2022, dubbing the campaign the Extra Destroyed Look. And Balenciaga didn't mean destroyed in a meta way. The sneakers are literally ruined, covered in mud, and torn up to no end. What's even more upsetting is the price tag. A pair of these bad boys will set you back $1,850. We're not joking. The obscene prices don't just apply to shoes, either. For the 100% cotton sports icon repaired t-shirt, which features prominent rips in the neckline and hemline, get ready to offer up an additional $1,050.
There's a trick for staying warm in the cold winter months, living in California. We're just teasing, and if you find yourself in the Midwest or in the Windy Cities, chances are you know someone who owns a Canada Goose Down coat. But simply put, are they worth it? The answer is a big, fat no. Financial journalist Carrie K. Taylor noted the brand is one of celebrity inflation, and that its success can be boiled down to marketing. Simply put, it's too expensive, not worth the cost. And you can buy a comparable coat for less. Taylor also noted the brand's questionable history, as it's synonymous with animal cruelty and the controversial coyote fur trimmed hood. Newsweek further elaborated on the brand's animal treatment, reporting that PETA has been after the luxury clothing manufacturer for years due to its use of animal cruelty. Then there are the extremes people have gone to in their attempt to score a Canada goose coat. Newsweek noted that in Chicago, six people reported being robbed of their Canada goose coats, while a school in England banned students from wearing them to class because students who couldn't afford them were being bullied. Father, son, and the house of Gucci. This luxury designer label is more of a religion than anything else. But buying into such a namesake might not be worth it these days. Gucci, of course, is renowned for class, style, and dressing the famous and rich among us. But as it turns out, people may just be buying the label rather than products of real quality. As noted by The Vo, Gucci's marketing suggests that the designer products are priced as much as people are willing to pay. The higher profile the products are, then the higher the price. Perhaps that is part of the allure of Gucci. The Vo notes that a select amount of people wear the designer looks, ensuring that it's surrounded by an air of sophistication and exclusivity. And while that may be alluring to some, if you're going to drop thousands of dollars on a designer look, you might want to actually opt for a brand that's going to deliver on both the quality and the high profile nature. Gen Z feels like a huge season of change, and the luxury brands in the clothing space are feeling the pressure. One such label that has a hard time relating to the younger shoppers is Prada, the Italian company that was once at the top of the luxury game. Kiwi Zhang, a luxury shopper who works in finance, told Jing Daily, Prada is not on my radar. Zhang's comments were furthered by yet another young shopper who said, I feel Prada is not in vogue. My budget will likely go to brands like Dior, Chanel, or Gucci. And the youthful consumers have a point. While Harry Styles has been tied to Gucci and Emma Stone has been the face of Louis Vuitton, Prada doesn't have a memorable young talent tied to the brand. And dropping $3,600 on a pair of embroidered shorts simply doesn't seem worth it. It should be noted that when you're thinking about dropping a decent amount of money on a luxury clothing item, you should do a bit of research into that brand's resale value. After all, spending $4,000 on a single item is a huge investment. And you might not love your current favorite five years from now. As it happens, the Louis Vuitton label isn't reselling at as high numbers as you might think. Retail Bum notes that consumers are receiving about 80% of their money back when they sell a second-hand Louis Vuitton. That sounds pretty good until you learn that Hermes bags are seeing a 90% return. This could significantly impact your decision as to what you ultimately purchase. Is Louis Vuitton really worth all that cash when you could get a higher return down the line? And while we love the idea of investing in a single item like a purse, Louis Vuitton offers clothing items that are simply crossing into the absurd category of cost. A crossback sports bra, for example, will set you back $1,660. And we can't imagine spending an entire month's rent on something we're going to sweat in at the gym. Few names are as recognizable as Versace. As not only has the family dominated the fashion industry, but it's also been at the center of some high-profile scandals. And while the Versace brand will always pack some sort of a punch, it might not be worth investing your money in if you want to buy luxury. As it happens, the high-end profile of the brand has gone downhill in recent years, its exclusive feel taking a turn in 2011. As noted by Pop Sugar, things started to go a bit south for Versace when its collection with H&M came out. While we love accessibility, being able to buy Versace at an everyday mall store like H&M definitely tainted its allure, despite Donatella Versace claiming it mirrored the brand's essence. 
If the H&M collection wasn't a sign that the brand was losing steam on the luxury front, Versace had yet another nail put in its coffin when it was bought by Michael Kors. As noted by Vogue, it was acquired for $2.12 billion. But any revitalization was slim. Even Business Insider has asserted that Michael Kors has lost its luster. So if you're a shopping designer, look elsewhere.